Michael Morgan hanging out at my producer Jimmy Rich's house. Uh, he's got a studio down there that we've been spending a lot of time in lately, uh, doing demo work and uh, pre-production stuff, getting ready to uh, start cutting this record uh, for all the stuff that we've been writing lately. Uh, seems like we write a lot here, um, and it's just easy for us to go down there and just lay down something if it's uh, if it's on our mind immediately. You know, we can just literally walk downstairs and. and uh, lay a little track down so it's been real good in the creative process and, and I'm so thankful that you guys are still following us along uh, on this process I think we've got some questions kind of mixed up between different people asking and so uh, I'm here to answer some of those about going into the studio and what it's like being in the studio or just about music so well, what it's like to be in the studio man it's a feeling like no other I mean all your hard work and the creativity and the the ideas that you have finally start coming to life. They start breathing air and they start uh, becoming something sometimes magical and sometimes you realize that this is not the song that you need to cut or uh, and everything in between. Uh, it's just a magic moment from the players to the songwriters to myself uh, to the engineers to the producers. I mean it just everybody knows their part and does their part and it ends up uh, in a lot of cases being just just magic. Uh, the working process and yeah. Oh, first time I ever went to the studio to record, that was a while ago. Um, I've been doing this, believe it or not, uh, a long time. Uh, not just on Warner Brothers, and not just on a, on a major label or anything like that. I, heck, I've been playing for 10 or 11 years and a lot of people may say, well, heck, you're only 24 and that's right. Uh, I started playing when I was 13, 14 years old in these bar rooms. And so the first time I ever went in the studio was just a little makeshift studio that my dad had made. Uh, and we sang some to some tracks, you know, I think it was uh, one of the first memories I have going in the studio was singing to a track of Seashores of Old Mexico by George Strait, uh, his version of it. Now I know that Merle Haggard and Willie Nelson had their version, but uh, it was George Strait's version. It was a single at the time. And so uh, we went in and I laid my vocal down on that, you know, <laughs> and uh, so yeah. Uh, I'm really excited about some of these demos, but one song that we've written recently is just kind of really stands out because it means so much to me. It's about my daughter Presley. It's called Somewhere South of Memphis. Uh, I wrote it with uh, Red Akins and Jimmy Ritchie. Uh, so, uh, and I really think that I've been wanting to write a song about Presley for some time now. And I've come up with ideas and come up with melodies and brought them into rooms and tried and tried and scratched my brain about it. But it just never worked out and it was never something magical and special. And I wanted it to be special and magical because you only get one song to, to, to represent those feelings. And I think that uh, we hit it right on the money with this song. Uh, can't wait for you guys to hear it. Thank you so much again for watching this video and taking this journey with us, staying the course with us in the studio, in the writer's room, on the shows, out on the road. Thank you guys for coming along and being a part of this with me. This is a huge thing and we cannot wait to get new music out there. Y'all stay tuned, keep following, keep listening.